Mr. Bill the teacher. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, we are going to be learning all about... <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Madam Gazelle, you made a squeak. Oh, uh -huh. it is just a squeaky floorboard. I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! Oh, I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr. Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr. Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is, then? Very good, Danny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> we know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week. Friday. Fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. There's nothing left for me to do. <laughs> What's that? It's the squeaky floorboard. Madame Gazelle wants it fixed. Does she now? Well, I've just thought of something I can teach you. How to fix a squeaky floorboard! Hooray! A couple of taps with this hammer will fix it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bull. How are you getting on? Oh, very good. I'm just teaching the children how to fix things. Ah, that sounds nice. I'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye. That, children, is how you fix a squeaky floorboard. It's still squeaking. Stand back. I need to take a closer look. There we go. This was the squeaky floorboard. But the floor is still squeaking. <laughs> oh, it must be this floorboard. There we go. It's still squeaking! <laughs> There's only one thing for it. What's that? We dig up the floor! Hooray! Hello, Mr. Bull. I am coming back now. Is everything OK? Yes, yes. It's all under control. See you soon. Stand back, children! Mr. Bull is fixing the floor. Madame Gazelle is back from the dentist. Ah! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to my school? Mr. Bull is fixing the squeaky floor. That's right. Look. No squeaks now. That is because there is no floor now. Oh, yes. Put everything back how it was before, please. Right you are! <laughs> Mr. Bull is good at digging holes. And hopefully good at filling them in again. Buried treasure. <laughs> Molly Mole and Freddy Fox have come to play with Pepper and George. What shall we play? Let's do digging. Um, I'm not very good at digging. I am. Squeak! Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found 
something. What is it? Wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness, where did this hole come from? Daddy, daddy, we found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel. Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello, police station. Hello, it's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. Hello, hello, hello. hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. We were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh dear, Police Officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right, back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, 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 Nina! This way to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow! Umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Ah, oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh, it's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. Hello, hello, hello. There's a hole in the wall. And a tunnel. Someone has dug a hole and taken our treasure chest down the tunnel. A criminal mastermind, no doubt. I wonder where it goes. Look, there are coins on the floor. Uh-huh, a trail. Let's follow the trail. We'll soon find out who took our treasure. We're outside my house. And the trail of coins ends. Now we'll never know who took the treasure from the police station. It's a mystery. I know who took it. Who? We did. Eh? Follow me. <laughs> This is the tunnel we dug this morning. Yes. It goes all the way back to the police station. And? We didn't know it was the police station, but this is where we found the treasure. So you found the pirate treasure that was in our lost property cupboard. Yes. Mystery solved. Well done, Freddy. Hooray! Hooray! That was excellent police work. Yes. I do believe you'll make a very good police officer one day. Just remember to keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> Who left that lamppost there? That's not a safe place for a lamppost. I'll make a note. Dangerous obstruction in workplace environment. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. And the mystery of the buried pirate treasure is solved. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast Club. Pepper and her friends are going to play group earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to play group early today? Isn't because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. 
Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh, what is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> It can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK, the bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Ooh! Cut it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm ready. Ready. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> everyone has caught their toast. Again! Again! No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. <laughs> I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> 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 I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone <laughs> has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam! Toast, toast, toast! Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the... The Panda Twins! Pepper is going to play group with her friends. Peggy and Pandora Panda are coming too for their first day at playgroup. Have a great day, girls! We will, Daddy! Remember to keep your ears and eyes open. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I will ring you later to let you know how they are getting on. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, two new pupils are joining our playgroup. Pandora Panda. Hello. And Peggy Panda. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Wow. You both look the same. That's because... We're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes, but it's okay. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. Hmm, we like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. 
Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm, try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <coughs> and the green grass with the green grass. <laughs> the jigsaw is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora, Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place. Every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello. The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it, we will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. Oh, it's in my handbag. It was in your handbag all the time. Yes. Sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Peggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes. That's my girls. Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. <laughs> Everybody loves solving mysteries. The petting farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs. Badger the farmer. Hello. Hello. Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly. <laughs> I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <coughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> Here, Chick-Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me. me, me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. 
It's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, swabbly, swabbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But... Pepper, um, you might not want to do that forever, and then you could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <coughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. Science Museum. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children, follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy. Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow, now it's easy. <gasps> My goodness, how does that work? Well, it's... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? I am here. Where? I can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Or maybe in the future, this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? <laughs> magic balloons! Get your magic balloons here! Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please! All we need to do is rub it like this and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic. 
but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. Which explains static. What does that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me, 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 me. Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push. One, two, three, push. Wow, I'm moving. Yes, that's called propulsion. Ah. But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me, 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 It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small. Perfect. In you get, Edmund. And uh, this is completely safe for children too? Yes, the rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness. Woohoo! <laughs> Lucky the museum has a high ceiling! <laughs> and that is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Pepper loves the science museum. Everyone loves the science museum. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky! Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese! <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow. Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun! <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese! I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! <laughs> Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello. 
Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Too right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. <laughs> ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <sighs> <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> fire station practice! Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy? Can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! Whee! ...into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 <laughs> Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on! Water on! Steady, Mummy! Steady! The target is hit and the fire is out! Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes! Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes. And how do we get super fit? On the fire station obstacle course. This is the fire station obstacle course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go. go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go. Yee! Woo! Next 
is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 <laughs> oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George! Throw it to me! <laughs> Mr. Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice cream! Ice cream. Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Ruff. Hello, Mrs. Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr. Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. What do you want, George? Ice cream! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then... Can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes. We used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. Ruff. Up aboard now. Take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Peppa. <laughs> 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 right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! <laughs> let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Peppa. Ice cream! Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny, can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Peppa. Oh, in that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! The best ice cream in the world! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have banana? Can we have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peppa! Mm. That's delicious! Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. 
Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. My goodness, what a mess! Oh, sometimes, Peppa, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, ho, ho! That's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There, lovely and tidy. Right, I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine. Nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> it is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza!
pizza. Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho. I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour. Tomatoes. Cheese. And for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn. Mushrooms. Olives. Pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands, wash them nice and clean. clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean and put our aprons on. <laughs> right, let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza! Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> And George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Oh, oh, this one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. <laughs> George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up, and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Peppa! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you! Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Peppa. Does it? Oh, goody. And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato. Me too! Super Potato is the best! Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. 
We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes. Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's Super Potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course! Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day! Hundreds and hundreds of times! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves... Recorders. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will learn how to play recorders. Ooh. Take a recorder each. <laughs> now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? You blow it like this. <gasps> no! oh, but that is not music, Peppa. That is a horrible squeaky noise. To make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Uh, not horrible? Yes, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Lovely. You see, all music is made from notes. We just play the notes in the right order. That 
looks easy. No, do it like this. No, like this. No, ah, stop, stop, stop. That was not music at all. No, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> <laughs> and why was that? We weren't playing the right notes. And they weren't in the right order. So let us begin by learning the first note. <sighs> this is hard. It will get easier with practice. Now, this is the next note in our tune. Bravo! It is home time. The parents have come to pick up the children. And remember, practice, practice, practice! La, la, la. Oh, somebody is learning how to play the recorder. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practicing their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Oh. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> Perfect day. Pepper and her family are going to a shopping centre today. That's a big shop. It's not one shop, Pepper. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow. But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh. This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. <laughs> It? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. 
<laughs> Pepper has reached the top. Quick, Daddy! I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom, but Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. Papa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> you a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy, did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Peppa. Did you? Yes. We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time! Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end to a perfect day! 